Hello everyone, in this lecture today, I am going to talk to you about Coombs test. So what is Coombs test? Coombs test is a blood test that is also known as anti-globulin test. Why Coombs test is called Coombs test? Because Coombs test is named after the British immunologist Robin R. Coombs. This test was first described in the year 1945. Coombs test is, an, is a laboratory procedure that is used to detect the presence of antibodies that are acting against circulating red blood cells in our body, which then actually will lead to hemolysis. So in the Coombs test, what we do, we have our red blood cells in our body and in this Coombs test, we want to find out if there are antibodies that act against our red blood cells. So then if we have the antibodies that act against our red blood cells, what will happen is that these antibodies will cause hemolysis of our red blood cells. Okay, so therefore Coombs test is used to detect the presence of these kind of antibodies that are acting against our red blood cells. The destruction of RBCs by antibodies directed against red blood cell is known as autoimmune hemolytic anemia. Then what is the principle of Coombs test? Red blood cells coated with complement or IgG antibodies, they do not agglutinate directly when centrifuged. So we have your red blood cells that are coated with the antibodies and when we centrifuge them, they do not they do not agglutinate or no agglutination occurs no clumping of rbc occurs therefore we need the help of third agent and that agent is called coombs reagent okay coombs reagent is an antibody that forms a bridge between the antibodies or the complement coating the red blood cells so as shown here you can see that when we add the coombs reagent this is anti-human antibody then what happens is that when we add this Coombs reagent then uh, this Coombs reagent actually forms the bridge between between the antibodies coating the red blood cell that results in agglutination of red blood cells so then what are the different types of Coombs test there are two different types of Coombs, Coombs test one is direct anti-globulin test or DAT and the other one is indirect anti-globulin test or IAT. So what is direct Coombs test? In the direct Coombs test, uh, we use this test to detect if antibodies IgG or C3 are bound to the RBC surface antigens in vivo. In the direct Coombs direct Coombs test is used to detect if antibodies are bound to the RBC surface antigens in vivo. So then what is the procedure of direct Coombs test? So we first take the blood sample from the patient, okay? And then what we do, we actually isolate RBCs from this blood sample. As you can see that RBCs have been shown to uh, be attached with this antibody. So this antibody is anti-RBC antibody. So human anti-RBC antibody. So then in the next step, what we do is we add Coombs reagent what we add we add Coombs reagent Coombs reagent and this is also called anti-human antibody then what happens so we incubate this after adding the Coombs reagent then this Coombs reagent forms a bridge between anti-RBC -RB antibodies as you can see that and actually that results in the agglutination of red blood cells so the agglutination of red blood cell is an indication of positive Coombs test that means there is the presence of the antibodies that are acting against red blood cell okay and then now another type of Coombs test is called indirect Coombs test so what is it indirect Coombs test is used to detect unbound antibodies to RBC, okay, which may be present in the patient's serum. So, in this test, what we do, we take the serum from the recipient. We take the serum from the recipient. 
as you can see that in the serum there is the presence of anti rbc antibodies okay these are anti rbc antibodies anti rbc antibodies so then what we do this is the serum from the recipient and we actually put blood sample okay we actually put blood sample blood from the donor into ser uh, in recipient serum and then we incubate it then what happens is that these anti rbc antibodies they bind anti rbc antibodies they bind with the red blood cell okay rbcs they bind with the rbc so basically a uh, recipient uh, antibodies they target donors rbcs okay and then and then what do we do in the next step in the next step we add coombs reagent or anti human antibody and we incubate and then what happens is that this anti human antibody this forms a bridge between anti rbc antibodies that results in the agglutination of rbcs or simply clumping of rbc so when we see the agglutination of rbc this is an indication of positive coombs test so indirect coombs test can be used for blood transfusion to check if two bloods are compatible for the transfusion or not if there is reaction between two blood type from the serum uh, sorry blood type from the recipient and the blood from the donor if there is any reaction between this or not to check that we can perform indirect coombs test so then what is the interpretation of coombs test so positive coombs test what we see in the positive coombs test result we see the agglutination of rbcs basically coombs reagent that is forming the bridge between the anti rbc antibodies and resulting in the agglutination or clumping of rbc this is a positive coombs test then what is the negative coombs test in the negative coombs test we don't see any agglutination or clumping of rbcs okay so that is negative coombs test so then what does positive coombs test indicate so positive coombs test indicate hemolytic anemia chronic lymphocytic leukemia or similar disorder or hemolytic disease of the newborn transfusion reaction such as one due to improperly massed units of blood